ever had a game that when you played it as a kid you thought was pretty awesome but when you decide to return to said game after all these years it's nowhere near as good as you thought it was? Yeah, this is one of those games. I honestly don't know what I was thinking back in the day that made me think so highly of 1080. I guess that was because being a kid with an Nintendo 64 wasn't easy back in the day. The games themselves were around 50 quid and the most I got for pocket money was £5 a week. So unless I felt like saving my pocket money for 10 weeks instead of buying sweets and comics, which for a kid would be impossible, chances of playing a new game will be pretty damn slim. But eventually I found a pawn shop that sold N64 games for less than a tenner. But that's a different story. Bottom line, I had to make do with what I had and one of those games I had was 1080 snowboarding. I decided to play this game again after 12 years because of the current weather condition here in Scotland in the past week. So yeah, here is the review for 1080 snowboarding. To be fair, the controls aren't that bad once you get used to them. All you need to use is the analog stick to move, the left shoulder button to control the speed of your rider, and the A button to jump. The B button is the brake, but personally I never use the brake because I'm either in a match race or I'm timed. Therefore, I prefer to treat the L shoulder button as acceleration while not using the said button would help me control the rider more loosely. Of course, for that you definitely need a rider with amazing corner turns, so I usually play as Bob Haywood because everyone else sucks. Also, why the hell does the old blaster sound like a typical American black oh, guy man. when it Yo. says in his stats that he's British? Do all black people sound like American gangsters? What up my homeboys, why don't we get ourselves a nice cup of tea and some crumpets, dog? Offensive, but that's what Nintendo apparently thinks. Aside from match race, you also have time attack, trick attack versus in a contest, which is a sort of mission mode where you would either perform tricks or move around flags to gain extra time. Graphic wise, it's pretty nice for its time. It simply shows off what the N64 could basically do in the sense of graphics, speed and detail. But for a game where nearly all the levels consist of riding down a hill in the snow, it's not what you would call showing off. Also, not everything is up to scale where you'll find boxes that are supposed to be cars and houses where you're half the size of them. I know the power of the Nintendo 64 was pretty limited, but they could have done a better job with the background. Even for its time, 1080 had pretty limited content. All you had is 5 riders and 10 snowboards to play with. Eh, but Mario's 1080 had 25 tracks and was multiplayer focused. I'm sorry for calling this out and I honestly don't care when this game was made, I'm still calling bullshit on this. The game actually had around 6 to 8 different tracks, the extra 19 tracks are rehashes of the other tracks only in a different period of the day. And I don't care if you had to go through the trouble of changing the lighting on each track and adding an extra ramp. It still doesn't count. As for the multiplayer, I could never find anyone to play it with me. They would rather play a much better racing game like f 0 X or Super Mario Kart 64 or Crash Bandicoot Racing. Actually, I take that back, that game sucked. Just because a game is multiplayer focused doesn't mean that it's good. It usually means that the single player will suffer greatly. That is all. And finally, for the music. It's pretty good for the Nintendo 64 but not really that memorable as the tunes would mostly remind me of the music from Doom or Riddler 2, simply because they sound too similar. I never really played other snowboarding games after this, simply because I've never really been that uh, interested in snowboarding. But I'm sure you'll find something better and more value for your money, even if you are a retro fanatic. Check it out by all means but make sure it's not your first choice. This has been my mental analysis and I'll see you next time. Oh no!